Hello and welcome to A Cat in the Garden. In today's video, we're going to be talking about my propagation methods, the prop bins that I have, and we're gonna be propagating a Hoya. So let's get started. Get you out of the way here. All right, so most of my prop bins look like this. I keep them right next to my window so they get maximum light. They are mostly Hoyas. So I have an east facing window, I get direct morning sun and they really seem to love it which is why I keep them right up next to the window. I do open the lid probably about once a week for an extended period of time of about 15 minutes though I do check on my propagations almost daily so that kind of leads to some, some good airflow anyway. In here I have quite a few Hoyas. Um, let's just go through here. This one is one of my favorites here, the Hoya Holliana. Now this one I left basically in the moss that it came in, though I might change it out because it's got quite a bit of algae there and just some perlite at the bottom. That is probably one of my preferred methods, is to do some perlite either by itself or with moss on top, or just do a mix of perlite and moss. I do also have the, oh, it's kind of a chunky mix almost. I've got LECA, cocoa chips, charcoal, and quite a bit of perlite. This cutting in particular has been having some issues. It's a Hoya Rang Sans Rash. I'll show you here. So, I got it as this single node cutting. It is pretty well rooted, but it just hasn't been doing anything. So I figured I would switch up the medium and see if that helps. I think that's all that's in this prop box. I also do really like the clear cups here because I can see what's going on with the roots. I can see when it needs to be watered again, like there's plenty of condensation and humidity in this cup, so I'm just gonna leave it how it is for now. I also have a taller propagation bin. I got these at Target, by the way. They're like $4 each, super cheap. So this one's for my bigger cuttings. Some of the ones that I have in the smaller bins, they graduate to these prop bins. And it's pretty much the same deal in here, mostly Hoyas. I do have in here a Scandapsis Jade Satin. This is the newest leaf. I think it's super pretty. It is one of the slowest growing plants that I have, hands down. Super well rooted too. But it's taken about eight months to get both of these leaves. So. It's definitely a slower growing plant. I do have it in mostly moss and perlite. I do have some orchid bark in there as well. But pretty much that's kind of my, my propagation method. Sometimes I find that the Hoyas root better in straight perlite. Sometimes I find that they root better in a mix of moss and perlite. I think it's just plant specific for the most part. I do wanna say one thing that I do I've gotten these in the mail a couple times, so I just keep reusing them. But there's these little things here that I just use to hold down a plant that doesn't wanna, if I take a fresh cutting and it's just really long and like this one and it doesn't wanna stay in the medium that I have it potted in, this can be really helpful. I know some people use hardware staples too, just to hold the plant down and then it has an easier time rooting. This one's already got some roots side of the cup. So it's doing pretty well. Probably don't need this little staple or stake anymore, but don't really have any other plant to put it on. So that's just what we've got there. And I do have some that could probably graduate from here soon, like this Boya Dekie I got as a one leaf cutting. It's super long and wonky. It's definitely fully rooted though. There's roots coming out of the bottom of the cup, but 
I might actually just chop this once this leaf is big enough because I don't know about you, but that spacing I'm not a big fan of. So that's pretty much how I, I propagate. I do have a couple other things in here that aren't Hoyas that I'll show you really quick. This is a philodendron pink princess. Yeah. I actually grew this from a chonk. This is probably one of the smallest plants that I own. It's super cute. It didn't really have any roots for the longest time, but it was growing leaves. And the chonk actually fell off recently and then it started growing roots. So I guess it's okay, but that was definitely a nerve wracking one to have for a while. Another one that I have in here is the philodendron carnival this one is actually a brazil sport oh, there we go this is a brazil sport characterized by the silver centers in the leaves here it's not the most common thing in the world sometimes when i go to garden centers like lowe's or home depot i do look because they always have brazils but i hardly ever see one i just got really lucky that when I bought my Brazil, which is right over there, it had a couple strands of the sport. I haven't really separated them, but it's from time to time I'll propagate. And I also have <clears throat> this philodendron plamonii that I'm growing from a little chunk. This was a gift from my friend Jacqueline and the leaf died after transit. It did have a leaf, but <clears throat> that's okay. It's growing. It's got some nice roots and I've got it in a mix of moss and perlite. So the last thing that I wanted to show you all is basically the process of how I take a cutting from one of my Hoyas and propagate it. This time I'm gonna be using perlite. So I have this absolutely giant straggly Hoya Velosa. This is one of two that I have. I had three, but I combined two, but this is my newer one. It has a lot different wavier leaves in the other one I have and I really enjoy that about this one this is why I bought it but I'm going to be propagating the leaf up top here this plant I have noticed is that the internodal spacing on it can be quite long and I'm not a fan of that so I'm going to try to make it more compact and propagate this leaf so they will grow again the great thing about Hoyas is that one node can produce several growth points. So it will grow again from this node up here where the leaf comes out. But I do want to leave quite a bit of space here so that it can root properly. So I'm going to take my shears here. Probably, let's see. Here. All right. And so it will bleed a little bit, but it will dry off in a few minutes. This one is done here. Might propagate it again in the future because this is just crazy, but it's super cute. Next, I've got my cup of perlite. I like to propagate plants in either these five ounce cups or the two ounce condiment cups. You can find them at the grocery store, at Target, at Walmart. It's super easy. You can even buy them in bulk from restaurant stores for a cheaper unit price. So I really like to use these and I've already moistened the perlite. Um, I find that it's easier once you, you've already got it wet, it's easier to get the cutting in there, easier for it to root whole nine yards. So just gonna stick it in there. You wanna get as much as the stem in there as you can. I might have to actually cut the stem a bit shorter so that I can get more of it in there because it does have these little root nubs on it already. But that's basically, oh, I got one of the root nubs in there and it'll form new ones. It can root from anywhere on the stem, really. Hoyas are probably the easiest plant to propagate in my opinion, but that is it. Just stuck in there and it'll go in the prop box and it'll be rooted in about two weeks. That's the easiest thing, high humidity and your cuttings will root super fast. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.